Okay, now I'm going to um, now I'm going to paint the um, paint the, paint the legs. Um, to um, I'm going to give it heaps of coats as well. So, but I'll start I'll start with the outside of the legs, and I'll just see how it goes. So as you can see, they're all nicely finished, um, and um, yeah. Anyway, they're all nicely finished, and I'm going to um, uh, I've, I've, I've cleaned them off with a bit of turps, and I'm going to give them a bit of a paint, see what they come up like. Okay, so they've had their first coat of paint now. Um, which kind of makes them look a bit dull. I had to do something. Uh, you can't just leave them there, I don't think. I could have put a lacquer on them, I suppose. But um, Anyway, so they've got their first coat of paint. And um, I'm trying to think of the overall effect when it's finished, which will be, you know, black and black and a sort of charcoal grey. So I reckon they'll look fantastic. So um, 15 minutes touch dry, one hour recoat, um, and um, got a really good idea for baking them on, which you'll see at a this later morning stage. I'm going to, um, I've, I've sprayed the legs on my um, on my restoration project for my crown number one. And I've sprayed them with a high temperature. Uh, spray paint, and um, it's I'm not, I don't know a huge amount about stuff like this. So uh, it, it says on the on the can that you can uh, bake them to add additional hardness. Well, it just so happens I've got a stove, pretty working a wood-fired stove, at number five. So I'm going to fire it up and uh, put the legs in the uh, in the oven and uh, bake them for a couple of hours, and. Um, after that, I'll, I'll respray the backs of the legs with um, just a regular spray paint. So there's the legs all ready to rock and roll. Now all I need to do is uh, go and get the fire going. This is my crown number five, which I'm going to use to uh, to bake the um, to bake the uh, legs. Jesse's just doing a bit of a quality control there. Well, we have fire. Just got a bit of kindling in there, and um, I'll get that going. And I, I might put the um, I might put the legs in there in the oven before it gets hot. So it's more than big enough to handle that. It's actually quite a big oven. Um, it should get up to you know around about 450 Fahrenheit, maybe 240 degrees. Um, at the moment it's pretty much ambient temperature. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Okay, I've uh, well and truly loaded up the firebox, um, and I'll um, I'll pop the um, legs all ready to go. I'll pop them in the oven so that they heat up gradually. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna take my legs, pop them in the oven. Not exactly fan forced, but it'll do. So I'll try and do it. make them all fit. All right, so that's the final result. It's just doing a bit of a quality control. That's the final result after putting them in the oven for. Oh, it was there in there for a good couple of hours, and the paints, paints hardened up nicely. So it's just the back to do now. They're looking pretty good. I'm going to. Um, Today I'm going to do a bit of painting, uh, well actually I've already started a couple of the parts um, for the stove, I'm going to do a bit of rust converting and some of it I've done already and um, with, the, um, with the base underneath I made a bit of a stuff up trying to, trying to remove the baked enamel so hey, I'm just going to paint over the top of it um, and see how it goes. Anyway, so here we go. This paint's really nice actually, it's got a sort of a, a metallic-y sort of finish to it and, and it goes on nice and thick so it'll, um, it will probably cover up my cock up. I'll probably give it a bit of a sand back later and, and go over it with the pot belly black spray paint just to give it a nice smooth finish. And there you have it, uh, finished 
painted product. I just these are my tests, and I literally just painted these on with a brush. Um, the product I'm using, and um, it's got a three-hour dryer time or touch dry. Uh, hardens overnight, so yeah, they'll be there for the day. Some of this stuff on the floor, I've just put rust converter on, and I'll probably give that a coat of paint later on. There's other bits of the stove, like the um, like the door. I want to preserve the logo, so I'll be doing some spray painting on that because I do have some um, some potbelly black um, spray paint. But um, yeah, no, there's other bits. You know, basically all I need to do these holidays is to, to get the base done. This is the, the bottom of the oven. I'm not sure whether to remanufacture. It's pretty good. I think it just needs to be, um, just to get a bit of the grinder on it with the sanding brush and, and do a paint uh, rust convert on it. The end of part two. Um, there'll be more later uh, when I do some more spray painting. But uh, for the moment it's just... Um, it's just uh, paint and you know, I guess you'll just see as I go, uh, the interesting part will come when I have to manufacture some new parts.